So today's topic is be bold. So be bold. What exactly am I talking about? What am I referring to? Well, basically is um, take the fucking risk. Basically, whenever I see guys going out and approaching women, they try their best to take the most minimal risk whenever they're approaching them. And how are they doing that? Basically, they're not even trying to get approved. They're not even trying to attract the girl to them. They're just going up to them and getting over with it. That's it. They're just going up. Hey, no? Okay. Bye. And they just leave. And I always think, hey, man, be bold. Whatever you want to say, say it. Show intent. Go up to her and actually tell her the reason that you're going up to her. Don't go up there and trying to be platonic and just going up there and being all friendly and stuff and, and never showing intent, never showing attraction, never showing why you went up there in the first place. And a lot of guys like to have faster shit. And then they get tired and they get they get mad because they say that this doesn't work and that they've been approaching a lot, but it just keeps failing and failing and failing. And the reason why is because you're not even trying. You're not even trying. Let me say that again just in case you didn't hear it. You're not even trying. Yeah, you're probably approaching women, but you're not being bold. You're not even showing intent. So how are you... Th why do you think... That the girl should be attracted to you. You're not even showing why you're going up there. Or you're not even trying to attract her to you. You're just going up there to get it over with. And that's it. You're just taking the most minimum risk. And you're trying to get progress on doing the same thing over and over again. Hey, and if you change... Basically, whenever you're going up there, if you change it, you be more bold. And you show intent. Like, basically, just like this. You go up there, you like her thighs. She has nice thighs. Go up there and say it just like that. Man, I needed to come up to you and say hi because I love them thighs. But anyways, what's your name? And you could do the same thing with that sentence that I just said. Do the same thing with, I love your eyes. They're beautiful. What's your name? I love your lips. They're nice. What's your name? Anything that you want to say to her, show intent. And always remember to physically escalate. Don't be scared to take the risk because whenever you, you decide not to take the risk, you're taking a higher risk because, look, the main reason why whenever guys go up there and they just like half-ass the shit and they don't actually go for what they're going for, excuse me, they're actually, um, <clears throat> anyways, they're actually basically trying not to get rejected. They're basically not trying to be embarrassed. They're trying not to look stupid. They're trying their best not to humili humiliate themselves in front of other people. Look like a fool. And that's stupid. Because by you not trying, there's a higher percentage that you will get rejected. Because you're just going up there just to go up there. So most likely the girl will reject you. And then you'll feel down and then you'll try it again and then you do the same thing and then you'll feel down again and next thing you know, you'll stop trying. You wouldn't do it anymore. And then you'll be like, oh my God, this doesn't work. All these coaches are lying, da 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 How do you expect something to work when you're not even showing why you're going up to women? Now, I mean, if you want to play the numbers game, you want to go up to, I don't know, 300 women, possibly you get one out of every 100 women that you, you approach, you get one. But this is the reason why you have coaches. This is the reason why you have experts, why you have um, um, basically people that have a lot of experience in, in, in seducing women for you not to go through all that. For them, 300 women, instead of going through 300 women and only getting minimal results, like three girls out of, like one girl out of every hundred, all that is just pressed down until talk to 100 girls and 
you have possibly 20 of them. And that's the reason for these techniques. That's the reason why we tell men to go out there and do what we do. That's how we have, basically that's what we have, that's how we have success. We go out there and we do it. And I had to learn as well. I used to be just like that too. I didn't want to show intent because I did not want to get rejected. But I learned that if I kept doing that, I wasn't going to get anywhere. Because I would hear other people tell me, hey, man, go up there and show them why you're going up there. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Because we get used to it. You know, remember whenever we used to be in elementary, when we were little kids, and we liked this girl? We will never tell them. Like, if somebody would be like, oh, he has a crush on you. We'll be like, no, we don't. <laughs> so basically, that's the same concept that we, that we took with us even to adulthood or teenage, whatever. We took that same concept and we think that by not showing that we like them, they're going to get attracted to us. Now, I don't mean that whenever you go up to women and by showing intent, I don't mean to actually be like, oh my God, I love you. I just saw you and I love you. I want to be with you. I want you to marry. I, don't do that. You know, what, I, what I'm talking about whenever you're going up to them, and just show that you're attracted to them. Show intent. Show that you like how they look. And that's the reason you're approaching them. Simple as that. Don't go crazy and confess your love and tell them that you're ready to get married and that's your mom and that's your uncle and, and you want to have kids and, you know, don't, don't go crazy like that. Unless it's in a playful manner, you know what I mean? Because then girls will get all like, what the hell's wrong with him? Oh my God, bye. Yeah, don't do that. Don't scare him off. But, always oh, show intent. Go up there and take the full risk. Not just half of the risk. Take the full risk. Because if you're going to embarrass yourself, might as well make it worth it. Because you're already taking the risk by approaching them. You're already going. You're already about to get rejected. Maybe. Possibly. Possibly not. Since you're listening to me. But if you don't listen to me, <laughs> you're going to get rejected. Because you're not going up there to actually try to attract them. You're just trying to get it over with. And you think by doing that, it's going to make you better. It's not. So, I mean, the summary basically is take a fucking risk. Be bold with your interactions. Stop trying not to show intent, not to show attraction because you think that that's going to get them attracted to you. No. What gets them attracted to you is that you actually have that courage to show that you're confident. To show that you don't care what the outcome is. You're just going up there because you want her. And you're telling her why you want her. And if she's not receptive to that, if she doesn't want you, well, at least you didn't waste your time. Now you get to move on. Move on to the next set. And then the next set, you know? Or maybe just her and then next girl's like, woo, she okay, come on, let's go, you know? Things like that. But basically, you're saving your time. Because whenever you go in, in there trying to be platonic and you're just talking to them, being friendly, most likely you're wasting your time. Like, you truly are wasting your time. You're just going up to them, and they say, you know, they just leave. And guess what? Them 30 minutes, you're not going to get them back. Just because you didn't want to show that risk. Just because you didn't want to get rejected. So basically, stop doing that. Go up to them and be as bold as possibly as you can. And show that you're attracted to them. Even when it comes to a physical escalation. Don't be scared. You want to hug them, hug them. You want to hold their hand, hold their hand. Don't be scared. All these things are for you to be able to know if that girl likes you or not. If she's into you or not. Like I said before, if she's not into you, you get to move on. You don't waste your time. You could just be like, okay, well, nice to meet you. Move on. And you just trying that, believe it or not, you're going to get even better. Just because you're showing attraction. Because you want the girl. That's simple. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And remember, you have options. Anyways, this is the secret. To next time. Shh. DJ Khaled. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the